I am a board certified pharmacist. Two of the symbols that define me are my pharmacotherapy lapel pin and my ambulatory care pharmacist lapel pin, both by BPS, demonstrating my two certifications. These two certifications define me as a clinical pharmacist who's active in patient care in these two areas. I'd like to share my story with you and how board certification has opened doors for me. My name is Joseph Sassine. I'm a professor and associate dean for clinical affairs at the University of Colorado Skag School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. My board certification journey started back in 1995. I was in my first year of postgraduate training and I knew very little about board certification. What I did know at that time is that there was three unique specialties that were recognized by BPS and a little bit under 2000 active pharmacist certifications. So I didn't know what it was all about. I received mentorship and encouragement from people at the University of Colorado where I was training. One person in particular, Kathleen Stringer, really opened my eyes to the benefits of board certification. She explained why she pursued it, what it would offer me, and what other opportunities may evolve thereafter. I asked myself, did I wanna be part of this smaller group? And I did come to the conclusion that it would be one way to differentiate myself, but also a journey to expand my horizons on advanced credentialing of pharmacists and other healthcare professionals. Now, I didn't wanna just show that I could pass an exam at a certain knowledge level, though I did believe that was important. I wanted to be able to leverage that advanced knowledge and skills to better patient care, which really is not only the ultimate goal of board certification, but also as me as a professional. My story started by first receiving board certification in pharmacotherapy, and then when available in ambulatory care. I do wanna share with you how I've used board certification throughout my career. And I really emphatically believe that doors were opened because of my board certification, my engagement in the process. The first opportunity that I had after becoming board certified was to engage in some exam construction, some blueprint development, and really helping to refine and update the exam led to an opportunity where I was to be on the specialty council for pharmacotherapy. I was a member and then became chair of that council in my second term and really full spectrum saw exam construction, blueprint development, job analysis, and the rigor that's behind board certification. That led to a few other opportunities, such as being on a few other specialty councils, like in oncology and then cardiology when it was a new, new specialty not too long ago. But also, I was appointed to the board of directors for the board of pharmacy specialties. Not only was I a member of that board, but I also became the chair of the board and helped to oversee activities. Two important activities that occurred at that time were the acknowledgement and recognition of both pediatrics and critical care as unique specialties, very important things for patient care and for clinical pharmacists collectively. Other doors that were open for me were within other pharmacy organizations. The American College of Clinical Pharmacy allowed me to be on task forces and committees that focused in on board certification, not only to help define board certification from a clinical pharmacy perspective, but how it actually should be incorporated in the overall implementation of clinical pharmacy pathways and progression throughout people's careers. Now, I think it's really important to recognize that board certification does not just exist to demonstrate that pharmacists have an advanced level of knowledge, but also it needs to be extrapolated and applied to improve patient care. Improving patient care is the overall intent of board certification. This is something that it remains germane to my philosophy and also to my profession. I think that it's also important to note that we can use our knowledge as pharmacists of our credentialing process and help others develop theirs. I've also had another door open where within the National Lipid Association, I was asked to help them develop their clinical lipidology specialty certification. And if it wasn't for my experience with the Board of Pharmacy Specialties and of pharmacy certification, I wouldn't have been successful in helping them. So my challenge to you is to differentiate yourself. How are you going to differentiate yourself? One way is through board certification. Board certification at the University of Colorado is also important in my role as a faculty member. I've had to do a few different things. One is as Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs, I negotiate the benefits of clinical pharmacists with our interprofessional team and with our stakeholders on campus. You bet I use board certification as one of those leverage points to demonstrate that we have clinical pharmacists that have advanced knowledge 
and that can apply that to improve patient care. I'm going to challenge you. What are you going to do to differentiate yourself? I think you should consider board certification. The doors are open for me, and I think they can be open for you too. Maybe different doors, maybe different ways, but this is one of the tools that you can use and consider. I also think it's important to mentor and encourage the future workforce within clinical pharmacy. As a faculty member of the University of Colorado, I encourage students to actually be aware of the benefits of board certification. I also was a residency program director for 25 years, and I'm very proud that three of our residents that I had the privilege of supervising are my first three residents, Rechna Patel, Eric McLaughlin, and Sunny Linneber, not only became board certified soon after completing the residency training, they actually engaged with BPS and developed within leadership roles within specialty councils also. So I think this lineage and this message of the importance of board certification can be multifaceted. Think to yourself, do you wanna be part of the board certification crowd? For me, it is about ambulatory care and pharmacotherapy. That's why I have my lapel pins and I wear them proudly. So in closing, even though pharmacotherapy and ambulatory care worked for me, it may be a different pathway for you, 15 different specialties, please consider how you may benefit from engaging in them. <music>